Well, we got the microphone off. Come on. It looks like we're still recording. Good. This is the second attempt to record this bullshit. So here we are, a video on NBC News. COVID vaccine mandate battle continues across America. And overnight, a blow to the president's controversial vaccine mandate. And Senator there's the court upheld its legal pause on President Biden's policy. A little bit that lets you know that that is the video. But here's the important part. The comment that I posted. So we'll just run through it shortly here and then I'll just read it. I shall just read it. Now let's read it. The hospital's exposed. COVID-19 is a diversion from the Secretary of State creditor debtor records. All ties into the fraudulent, tw fraudulent 2020 election, which the Secretary of State oversaw. The audits reveal tremendous treason. Now, getting back to the greater cover-up, the UCC-1 financing statements at the Secretary of State. The U.S. government, a corporate... The U.S. government, a corporation that went bankrupt in 1929... The great stock market crash was a fake media diversion. Yeah, it was a diversion from the bankruptcy. The stock market crash was a diversion from the bankruptcy. Four years later, June the 5th, 1933, the people were put in the creditor position too the 1929 U.S. government bankruptcy. The swamp people who hide behind the corporate veil are the debtors. But they pulled another fake media fraudulent lie and flipped the UCC-1 financing statement records. Just like the, the SOS flipped the 2020 election votes. SOS is Secretary of State's. SOS is also a help signal, emergency help signal, an emergency help signal for abandoned ships. Search on YouTube Jordan Maxwell, and he teaches the public what abandoned ships really are. They're abandoned babies at the hospital. When they trick the mothers into signing birth certificate application bonds, and thus these fuckers assume jurisdiction over the children. Anyway, moving on. Even more important, these fuckers flip the creditor debtor records. So yeah, even even more important than the voting fraud, folks, is that they flip the creditor debtor records. Seems seems like these swamp debtors are always flipping someone off. The blame game. That's treason at the highest level because the original Constitution is a bankruptcy record, folks. And anyone dishonoring the original Constitution has to meet the skull crusher. What's the skull crusher? The big cat with the most powerful bite, biting force, is the Jaguar. The Jaguar in the military courts martial represents the legal military attorneys who try fuckers for treason. 
The guilty get three sentence styles. Hung, shot, prison. If the people have been the U.S. bankruptcy creditors since 1933, then all the bankers should be court-martialed. Once found guilty, then hung, shot, and prison. And all the people on the banker's team, too, which, but not limited to, includes governments, federal, state, county, city, military, CEOs and their employees in every nation state because all nation states trade the U.S. dollar. Hope you all investigate. June 5th, 1933, the original national emergency, HJR 192. That's a House Joint Resolution. Also called 4848 Statute 112 and Public Law 7310. There should be a dash between 73 and 10. And U.S. Code, or 31 U.S. Code 315B. Google search. Also search, also search YouTuber Winston Shrout, whom was thrown in federal prison in 2019 for exposing the original national emergency under Trump's watch with no pardon. Sherlock Holmes' private investigators should be fumed when they dig up the greatest fraud diversion heist that this century has ever had. The greatest cover-up ever. And another university pile higher and deeper attempt. But... I am on cat watch. Look out, fuckers. I wrote the master key peace warrant at the international universal level. Anyone ready to see this domino tipping warrant? Remember, folks, no one fucks with the universal postmaster general. That would be me. Anyway... There's some more comments that you can match up to this particular video. But keep in mind, folks, everything is a what if and a could be. And it's just a story. But, like I said, once you get a gander with those eyes that you got, on the master key peace warrant that I wrote up, which is a lawful affidavit sent to the Oregon Employment Department and the Treasury Connection. All because the heads in Lane County, Oregon decided to dishonor a international treaty security agreement on this place that I hold in advance. So, thanks to the good old boys in Lane County, that caused the whole arrest warrant to be written up. Not only is it an arrest warrant, it is also a lien. That would be a money lien. $13,000 a pop for everyone who contributed. And that includes all their family and friends in every nation state and neighborhood where the people live. $13,000 a pop at an adjustable rate 
forever. Anyone want to read the contract? Anyone want to see the 170-page amendment? Anyone want to go look in the federal district court records? I'll give you the numbers. You can go look. 6 colon 16 dash MC dash 599 and 6 colon 16 dash CV dash 02232 dash capital A capital A. You can see the original security agreement in the U.S. District Court. And you can also send letters to the Oregon Employment Department and the board and the administrative hearing law judges, R. Shoemake and uh, Richard A. Seedman, otherwise known as ALJ, administrative law judges, you can write them letters and demand that they show you the affidavits, the 170-page amendment, because they all agreed for everyone in every nation state on this planet and throughout all planets on the universe that they were supposed to show all the public and post them in the public for you all to see. And if they have not done that for you, you now have legal grievance to go have them cough the master key peace warrant up for all of you. Good luck.